So the whistle of the week this week is the Generation Standard D. This one is the blue top, nickel electroplated one. They also come in the red top with the bare brass body. This one looks like the ones that you would have seen Patty Maloney using to great effect, and uh, a lot of the whistle legends played the Generation. It is a very highly regarded whistle, much like the Clark Sweet Tones, very popular. Just about everybody has one in their collection somewhere, and if they don't, they should. The pros of this whistle are, again, it is kind of the standard. It is kind of one of those benchmarks that people compare all other mass-produced whistles to. It's very different from, say, the Sweet Tone in the sense that this has a brighter, somewhat raspier tone. It's also really easy to play generally, doesn't require too much breath, doesn't require anything too crazy. However, I would say the cons of this whistle are very much the same as when I discussed the C version of this whistle. The windway is far wider than it needs to be which does necessitate a little bit more breath maybe than necessary. Like most of the mass-produced plastic head whistles, there is a significant cavity under the windway that really should be filled with the old Bluetech tweak or some epoxy or something so that it becomes a flat wall there. In order to cut down on hissiness, shrillness, jumpiness between tones, so forth. This particular one is also sort of indicative of the quality control issues that Generation has ongoing. They are very inconsistent. The tone gets almost gritty in the second octave, very raspy, and it sort of defeats the purpose for which I would usually have the nickel-plated whistle, because I like them bright and bird-like. I've heard the protestations from all the people that say that there's no difference physically between the bare brass and the electroplated whistle bodies in how they sound. I submit to you that those people simply don't hear the difference. I do, and I find it a lot in playing. It's not an aesthetic choice. I don't care what it looks like, really. I mean, sure, it's nice, but it's not. that's not the point. The point is, I tend to go for a brighter bird-like sound. However, this whistle doesn't really achieve it. It's not particularly louder than any other mass-produced D whistle. It doesn't sound purer or clearer, and it has that gritty, sort of, almost breaking up kind of sound in the upper octave. I had to do the standard D. I did the the Boho Generation D with the cute Paisley wrap on it. I've done the C and the B flat, and I have more generations to come. And I will discuss some of the ones that got it right as opposed to some of the ones that got it wrong. It's just how generation is. You, you're going to get some good ones. You're going to get some bad ones. You're going to get some that are in the middle. This one is kind of in the middle for me. It's on the eh, side of in the middle. It's a good whistle to practice with. It's a good whistle to play around with. It's a good whistle to try to master and, and see if you can find a way to alter your breath pressure or maybe the way you're fingering to sort of mitigate the tone issues that I feel this whistle has. And I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea that I'm against generation whistles or that I don't like them. I really like the good ones that I've had. And then I really don't like a couple of the really hissy, bad ones that I've had. This one is okay. Is it a good whistle for a beginner? Yes. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's cheap. It's easy to play. Under most conditions, it has a, a decent sound. Maybe not great. Maybe not terrible. But it's a good whistle to learn on. It's a good whistle to attempt to master and you're not breaking the bank for one of these. If you luck into one of the really good ones, you better hang on to it. Because 
you might go through 15 or 20 more of them before you find one again. That was our whistle this week, the Generation Standard D in the electroplated nickel body. I look forward to seeing you next week when we play something a bit different. <laughs>